Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very important topic to talk about. Mainly running shoes and specifically running shoes in relation to injuries and performance. As runners, it is important to know how our footwear can actually impact our performance and our overall risk of injury. So I did a little deep dive in the evidence-based information about these topics. So if you find it interesting, follow along. So let's go. All right, so before we begin, running shoes play an important role in preventing injuries, but they are not a guarantee. Injuries may happen due to a lot of factors like uh, what age you have, how your training intensity, training volume is looking like, your biomechanical factors that play a very significant role. All those factors can contribute to whether you get an injury or if you don't. When we look at some articles that contain a lot of data from different studies, it shows that no running shoe type or no running shoe brand actually has an effect on if you get an injury or not, which is very good news. So if you like Nike, Adidas, Puma, Mizuno, Asics, whatever, feel free to choose whichever you want because there's no specific brand that actually improves or, or does better than other brands in the sense of injury risk. Also, there was no significant effect shown that prescribed footwear might reduce injuries. So in some stores or, or some brands, they have this plate which you can run on and based on how your foot strikes, they will prescribe a certain type of footwear for you. In most studies, it's shown that it does not decrease the risk of injury. However, there are a few specific points about this prescribed footwear that I do want to get into, but that's for later in this video. So if the type of shoe or the brand of the shoe that you buy does not decrease the risk of injury, what does? Well, it turns out there are a few elements that may influence the risk of injury. For long distance runners, a previous running related injury was the highest risk factor for having another running related injury. But this is for long distance runners. For short distance runners, Actually, it didn't matter whether you had a running related injury, but more an injury in general, but that's for short distance runners. So short distance runners, if they had an injury, whether it was running related or not, that was the biggest risk factor to have another injury. So of course, previous injuries may play a significant role in your next injury. And therefore it might be very important to get a good rehab from the previous injury before restarting your next running cycle or rebuilding to whatever you want to do running wise. For short distance runners, they also noted that higher body mass index, higher age, your sex, and this is the male counterpart instead of the female, having no previous running experience and lower running volume before were strong risk factors with moderate quality evidence. But like I said, this is for the short distance runners. This was less evident for the long distance runners. So as we stated before, that your running shoe type does not impact your risk of injury. There was one category of runners where it did make an impact. Heavier runners were more likely at risk of injury when they wore minimalist shoes. So other categories were fine wearing more minimalist shoes, but heavier runners, they had to watch out for, for minimalist shoes. So if you're on the heavier type of runner, watch out for the most minimalistic shoes. You might benefit from some extra support from the running shoe that you wear. All right, so we know now what may cause injuries, but is there a reason or is there a way to prevent injuries? And if so, is there a way to prevent those injuries and improve our performance? Well, there are a few studies that have shown some very promising uh, factors regarding this topic. And first off, 
it turned out that having multiple running shoes actually decreased the risk of injury. It might change the load or it might give you a variation of load on the musculoskeletal system and therefore reduce injuries. In some other studies they also found that the load that you put or the stress that you put on your body can also be altered by the type of running shoe that you wear. In most studies they see a decrease in the impact that it has on the body when you wear softer and more structured shoes so the shoe will give you more support and they see biomechanically that it does uh, reduce the impact it has on your body. However, they did not show a direct correlation to injuries. So even though a softer shoe may reduce the impact on your body a little bit, it may also feel better and feel less taxing or stressful on the body. It did not, however, reduce your risk of injury. What they did see that if you stiffen up the midsole or the sole of the base of the shoe, that there is a performance benefit. Previously, we stated that the more support and the more cushioning the shoe gives you, it may actually reduce the impact on the body. It turned out that wearing a more minimalist shoe actually can improve your running economy. They do not specify on injury risk, in this particular case, but they did, they did see that having minimalist shoes actually makes your musculoskeletal system work harder, but it will also make it more efficient. So you may benefit from some minimalistic shoe here and there. And as we saw earlier, for not too heavy runners, it didn't actually increase their risk of injury. However, I advise you to be careful because if you're trying to do the same volume and the same intensity on minimalistic shoes, I feel like it would put a lot of extra strain on the body and therefore may give you an, an increased risk of injury. However, this was not shown in the science, but that's just my general feel of how things will go. I found one study and I thought it was very interesting where they emphasized their research on foot, extra foot pronators. So people who over pronate when they run and it turned out they did not have an additional risk for injury. Like many people may have thought in the past that when you over pronate you increase the risk of injury because before there were a lot of shoes trying to correct uh, those extra pronation. Does however turn out that motion controlled shoes may actually be, be beneficial for those kind of people. Alright, so to sum it up, evidence does back up the claim that you can reduce your injury risk by having for instance multiple running shoes and have a shoe rotation. However, I feel like your footwear is an investment in your running happiness, your running comfort and your risk of injury. So I would always advise to take those things in consideration, but most importantly, keep having fun, keep moving, keep running, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.